All right, hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, hope you're having a good day wherever you're at in the world. Uh, and today I want to talk about stock selection as it relates to scope carbon. Uh, now, you might have noticed that I don't have my upgraded CTR on here anymore. And in my opinion, that is for good reason. Uh, I think I speak with a little bit of experience when I, when I speak on this because I've ran the upgraded CTR for almost two years now, something around there. Um, and I've never found myself in a position on a stage, on a hunt, anything like that, where I was like, man, I really need to collapse this stock right now because my length of pull is too long. You know what I mean? Or I'm in a weird position. So let me, let me adjust this on the fly. In my opinion, this is just for storage. So anyway, let's get into the numbers. So right off the rip, a lot of people, they steer away from the CTR or the, I'm sorry, they steer away from the Magpul PRS type stocks, the Gen 1, 2, 3, or even in this case, the light, strictly off the price. You know, you look at this, you're like, oh, $65. And then you look at this, you're like, damn, that's twice as much. That's $120. But right out the box, what you're getting, boom, you're getting your you're getting your uh your bag rider right out the gate. You're getting your angle adjuster right out the gate. The only thing that I've put on here that doesn't come out of the box is the limb saver off of my other CTR because I've already bought it. Definitely not necessary, but I think it adds to the aesthetic. So why not run it because I've already bought it? Uh, another thing is that you'll see with a lot of scope carving guys is they're buying uh, cheek risers to go on here. So it's even more money all in. So all in, like I was saying, this stock with all of its accoutrements and upgrades, this is $180 right here, right? And I have two of them, bought with my own money. Uh, this is $120 out the gate. This one was a little cheaper because I bought a blim. Uh, you know, your boy hates buying full price stuff. I'll, I'll buy something used or I'll buy a blim. I don't care. But, so I think I paid eighty dollars something like that seventy five dollars anyway a hundred and twenty dollars out the box versus a hundred and eighty dollars with all the upgrades on top of paying for the shipping I don't think this this one function I don't think that is worth a hundred and eighty dollars in my opinion Maybe you've had to collapse your stock down on the fly. Um, or maybe you live in a state where you can't ride with a rifle in your back seat. It has to be in a box. If you need that function, then hey, click off the video. But I have never found myself in the field at a match where I was like, damn, I need to collapse this stock right now. So that is why I've upgraded to this over the upgraded CTR. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it comes with its inherent pros. Another pro that the PRS Lite has over this system is I know for a fact all of you, because I, I have two upgraded CTRs and one normal CTR. And on all three of mine, I have had to shim the buffer tube because the the mating system, there's play, there's play in there. The PRS light does not have that. This is one solid system. It is locked down with screws. There is no wiggle room. To me, another pro. Another thing that I like about the PRS light over the CTR is the angle of the bag rider and this little cutout right here. So when I'm going prone, I can just slip my thumb with my support hand through this hole, grab the bag, and it's, it's very natural. On the CTR, yeah, you can do it, but for me, it it causes me to, to put more influence into the bag. So from the shooting that I've done with this, I really prefer this system over this system. Excuse me. Just make sure when you're setting this up that you have your eye relief set and you do your eye relief on max power. You don't set your eye relief up on four power because if you do, as soon as you start magging up, you're going to start 
turtlenecking and swan necking or whatever they call it, you're going to be fishing for your right eye relief. So make sure you set this up correctly for you. And I think you'll be better off. So. <clears throat> oh, another thing too, as it relates to the limps that I have on here. If you already have an upgraded CTR package, but you have the CTR limb saver, this will not work. What I have right here, this is the Magpul SL limb saver. And as you can see, it, it is perfect on my rifle. It looks like it was made for it. No funny business going on. But if you have the CTR limb saver, it's going to be extremely narrow. Um, not to say the 556 has a lot of recoil, but if you have that on a 308 or a 65, it's going to, it's just going to heighten the felt recoil on your collarbone. So be aware of that. And depending on if you have the, that little, it might not even work. Honestly, I'll, I'll throw a picture up. One of my buddies tried it and he just said it, it wasn't worth it just because of the, the angle. But this here is the, Aris or the Magpul. No, this here is the Arasaka SL Loom Saver. And as you see, perfect fit. It's flush on the bottom, nothing hanging over. There's no gaps, no seams. And then I just covered it with electrical tape as per the scope carbine mantra, just to prevent, you know, the extremely rubberized texture from gripping on clothes and whatnot. But yeah, that is why I prefer the PRS Lite over the upgraded CTR package. I think, like I said, I think I speak with plenty of experience on the topic. And some of the best shooters that I know run these types of systems. We got uh, Scott Peterson, Kenny Dang, Iceman, the multiple time world uh, sniper champion. He runs this, so I think if you're in the world of precision shooting on a gas gun platform, this is definitely something to consider. And it beats, honestly, it beats the system out, hands down. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. You know, it's cheaper. It does what it's it does what this is trying to do better, and it looks sick. So. Win, win, win in my book. But at the end of the day, that's for you to decide. It's your money. It's your use case. If you think collapsing the stock is worth $180 to you, dope. If you like this look over this look, dope. I just thought I'll bring you something a little different today. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. So let me know in the comments down below if you, if you have an upgraded CTR, is this something that you would consider? Or if you're trying to get into scope carbine, hey, now you got a little more information because you don't really see too much online about this versus that. So again, let me know what you think down below. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button. Yeah, till next time, guys.